one's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans, Black Series collectors, welcome back to another video. We've got a brand new one. Um, the last of the new sort of comic series of figures. We've gone Jackson the Rabbit. I said multiple times that I was not interested. I think the character of Jackson is stupid and I'm not going to buy the figure and yet here I am and I'll be honest I've done a complete backflip on this thing and my feelings regarding this thing have uh, you know gone completely backwards so I'm really really impressed with the box, the art, the figure um, and I'm very much looking to go and read some of these Star Wars Adventures comics starring uh, Jackson himself. I'd like to learn a little bit more about the character so um, it took me a little bit. I just I needed to sort of take a step back and realize that not all characters need to be sort of brooding and serious. Um, they are designed for whimsy. And uh, I know Sci-Fi pointed out in his video that he did yesterday that, you know, it's it's just another alien based on a real life animal. You know, we've got lizards, we've got, you know, apes, we've got all sorts of different stuff. So why not a rabbit? Why not? Um, so I, I really like the sort of cartoon artwork depicted in um, in Star Wars Adventures, but I really like what they've done with the figure. Um, and I have already taken him out. I took him out in my live stream, but there is a, a little bit of a write up there. So I think that look works well for the uh, for the com for the comic pictures here and and all the artwork. Cool a little black and white image there on the side. Some others around the uh, so in a spine of the box there looks cool but yeah the the realistic interpretation of the figure looks great so let's flip the camera around and have a look all right here he is the big green rabbit himself jackson and uh despite some initial um you know aversions to the figure itself it actually turned out pretty damn good and uh you know it looks it looks great all over it's worked out really well um so basically, he's using some extra parts from, from other figures we've seen before. So the legs are coming from a New Hope Luke. The upper torso comes from, I believe it's X-Wing Luke. Um, obviously with some tooling adjustments made. So this uh, sort of softer plastic armor piece can sit over the top. Um, and... It is pegged in at the front, so they've they've made some tooling adjustments to the mold, so that will peg in and stay nice and tight. So um, it is loose at the back, and I probably will just end up sort of gluing this down, so I don't have to worry about worry about that too much. Uh, the fact that it's a soft plastic allows for that shoulder movement there on the articulation, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, the top half of the torso, I believe, is uh, X-wing Luke. I thought it was going to be a TIE pilot, but um, not so much. It could, could be the same thing. It could be very similar. Um, I haven't actually put them side by side, but I think for the most part, it works really well. I think the wraps up the leg works works well. The color of the jumpsuit is sort of like a nice sort of ready color. I like the reds and the grays, the sort of yellows through the uh, bit, that hip bit here. Looks good. I mean, cooler if they didn't put that on there. They just used a different torso instead of the yellow because it's not entirely accurate to the uh, artwork on the box. So you know, he doesn't have that. You can get away with the uh, the yellow strap going up, but um, otherwise he doesn't have that part. Um, I'm going to try and color match the yellow so I can get that stripe down the chest there and match that up because that would uh, look a little bit nicer and I might like to um, paint up some of these pouches on the belt I believe this belt is new and unique to this character I don't think we've seen that one before if I have I, uh, I'm, I'm completely forgetting where it's from but uh, he does come with two of the same blaster pistol and they, they do, like I said, they fit nicely in the holster and uh, yeah, nice and snug in the hands too. The only issue I had is, uh, you know, it's great that he's got a trigger finger on this one, but this one doesn't have a trigger finger. So it doesn't really hold 
the blaster properly, but what I did was actually um, cut out that small segment of the trigger, just so when it is in his hand, it fits in there. I didn't have to sort of slice, because in the past I've sort of sliced uh, in the hand between the between the two fingers there. But, uh, yeah, we'll get a look at the head sculpt, because this is probably the most impressive part, and this is where it's the sort of realistic interpretation of, of something that's like a comic cartoon character, so... I um, have referred to him as Drugs Bunny. <laughs> it looks like he's uh, maybe spent a bit of time on the death sticks, but uh, I do, I do. It's less sort of crazy bunny rabbit looking. It's more of a more alienistic. You know, he's he's meant to be a smuggler, and uh, yeah, I, I think it works really well. Honestly, I really like the sculpt. I really like the look of him. Um. Big, big green ears. I just think he looks really cool. I'm digging it. It's, uh, like I said, sometimes Star Wars characters are made out of whimsy. And uh, this one's definitely one of them. And yeah, definitely, being a being an original Marvel design, you sort of, um, you know, Marvel created this back in the 70s. And uh, you kind of could see him, like... You know, maybe hanging out with Howard the Duck. <laughs> or, you know, these days you could hang out with the Guardians of the Galaxy or something like that. Something sort of a little bit out there. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to have this figure. I'm yeah, really excited to see where they go in the future with what characters they choose for this line. Because um, no doubt we will see, see some more. It'd be cool to see a wave of them every year. Um, you know, four figures a year would be cool. Um... But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Jackson. Jackson the big green rabbit. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, pretty damn happy with this figure. So I'm going to hopefully get him out for some toy photography later on. See if I can get him to team up with some, some of the other figures and uh, have a bit of fun with this guy. So yeah, drop a comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, of which there are always plenty to come. So, until my next video, thank you very much for watching.